Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you need to follow along with me today is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? This week, we're going to build on last week's lessons on facial expressions by demonstrating how body language, specifically hands, help to express or communicate what the character is thinking or feeling. For our purposes today, we're going to draw one of the great expressive characters of all time, Genie from Aladdin, who is voiced by one of the great comedic actors of all time, Robin Williams. Before we get started, make sure you hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Okay, so let's draw Genie in some expressive poses. So what do you look like when an idea or a novel thought suddenly pops into your head? What might your hands do in that situation? We're going to explore that in this first drawing of Genie. So let's draw Genie suddenly getting an idea. So there's our genie suddenly getting an idea. In this next drawing, we're going to capture the expression genie would make when he's explaining the idea maybe that he got in the first drawing. What would his face look like? What might he be doing with his hands for emphasis? Let's draw genie explaining something.
Okay, so there's Genie explaining himself. So let's do one more. In this last one, we're going to draw one of my favorite Genie facial expressions of all time. The jaw drop. It's that total look of surprise, and not the good kind, that can only be done in cartoons. Gravity takes hold of the jaw. It also kind of takes hold of the body and the arms and the hands as well, as they hang just as slack as the jaw. Okay, so let's draw Genie in his famous jaw drop expression. Alrighty, so there we have it, Genie from Aladdin in a few expressive poses, including the famous Genie jaw drop. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn Genie before, or worked on expressions or expressive poses, then you can't expect to have drawn them perfectly. You notice I don't spend time coloring Genie during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have that secret formula, the process for drawing Genie in various expressive poses. With that, you can draw him again and again, and by all means, color him when you're done. I also encourage you to take what you've learned in this video and give other characters some of these same poses. That's how you improve. I promise each time you draw them, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series, where I spend more time explaining the details and the thinking behind each step in what I call the level up cartooning process. So I'd love to see your drawing of Genie in these poses. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to include the hashtag level up cartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing my friends.